Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Air Hollow with me, EMUHerd37. So, in the last episode, we were going from San Fran up to Spokane. Then I had a, a Spokane back, and I realized both uh, were too heavy, so it was going to be end up being four episodes. And last episode was the first one. Well, everything's changed. I didn't realize I didn't have much time to finish the San Fran up to Bozeman. So I actually had several people flying smaller planes up there to get it finished for me. I also realized there's actually two airports there. and I, They were actually at different airports. We were flying up to uh, Spokane. It was KGEG. And uh, that's like the, the civilian airport or whatever you want to call it. The other one is KSKA. That's actually an Air Force base. And it was that one that was actually coming back. So it was actually like about five nautical miles away. I didn't realize that. So I've already flown over to KSKA to fly back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly back in this episode. Then I'm going to make another episode where I'm going to fly over here to Bozeman, Montana. Uh, that'll be just one flight. I can fit, as you can see right here, I can fit all that on one flight. Then that'll be an episode. Then I'll fly over here. I won't record that. There's no... I don't see any point in, like, recording a uh, positioning flight. It just it didn't really make any sense. And then, on another episode, we will fly back to San Fran. And that's the plan for now. <laughs> Things always change, but hopefully I can stick to that. Alright, so, let's go over here. Spokane. See, it's KSK. It's actually an Air Force base. I don't think it actually says what it is. Yeah, I don't see what saying exactly what it is. But that's where we're flying. So checking out this. What is the elevation? I think it's real at 12 feet. All right. Anyway, let's go over here. We also have our second 747 being flown by Leo, our number one pilot. Alright, everything is already loaded up. Got all the fuel and everything set. I even have it set in the load manager. It's Don't pay attention to the cargo. It's it's weird. I can't explain it. Like You can't get the exact cargo and fuel and you know, air hauler saying, well, you can just add more fuel or take less fuel and more cargo. It's just weird. It's just weird. But it's different programs interacting, so it's not like you can get it exactly. Alright, so it's 22 here, so it'll be 1956 over in that area. 1956. Alright, guys. Everything is loaded. We're ready to go. Time is set. I will meet you in the cockpit. Alright, everybody. We're here in the cockpit. Get these lights on, make sure they're on. So, y'all damper, trim air. Alright, come over to the FMC. Never once to go in. <laughs> I thought that's how you do it. Pretty sure that's what I used to do. KSKA. Now, I got a program called Flight Sim Commander, uh, and I actually created a flight plan with this. I'm new to the program, so I'm trying to get it to work. I don't totally know everything, but I think I know the basics. So that's KSKA KSFO, that's what it's called. Let's see, it goes in. That's all good. Still have to. Uh, do this. Taking off runway 5. And coming on runway 28. If it'll show us. See, I actually put the decod or whatever, fix 02 in. I think I'm actually going to take the fix 02 out. Alright, 
let's switch this over to there we go zoom out just a little bit and we'll go step by step let's see we'll be coming over to Decot Fixo 2 we won't actually make it to 602 or Big So 2, so I really don't need it. We'll just go straight from Decat to Seppin or Seppin or whatever you want to call it. So we can just move that up. And it's all good. There's Seppin, Axmul, whatever, Axmul, whatever you want to call it, and the runway. Then you go into the holding pattern and everything, if you need to. Alright. Enough of that. There we go. Let's finish all this up. Cruise out to two. Let's see if... I don't think we can actually get to 40,000 probably tell me no. Well, it hasn't yet. I'm sure at one point it'll probably be like, no, we can't. We'll go to 40,000. I'm not sure why not. I mean, we should be able to. It's a 747. Is there a fuel weight? Let's carry 10 in reserves, although it's not very far. Go 80 on the cost index. Let's see if we can go 40,000. That says 35,300. So let's go to 35,000. Alright. Go 20 on flaps. Here's our V speeds. And there's the trim, 6.0. I was looking that, for that before, couldn't find it. But there it is, 6.0. Got that the approach. Full flaps coming in. And I think, I think that's it. I do want to check, see I want to adjust this, I don't want to be at 240 there, I want to be down to 200, because then we're only, you know, another 9 miles or so, I don't, eh, I don't want to be that fast, I don't even think we need to be going 177 on landing, it should actually be slower. Fort 177 there. Put 200 at 1800. And that should be good. Let's turn the window heat on it once it. I said we're going to 35,000. So we'll adjust this. Almost there. Taking a really long time. All right, I'm the flight director and the auto throttles. I can't remember if I showed you this or not. Down here, this is actually where TCAS, let's check the takeoff, by the way. TCAS and uh, the automatic pushback is down here, but when you're in virtual cockpit, 
it doesn't come up there. I can't remember if I told you that or not. So we have to go to the 2D cockpit. Go to COM. Test the TCAS. This right here is your pushback. We don't need that. TCAS system, test OK. Alright, test OK. Back to this way. All right, let's uh, head over to the runway. Get the flaps set at twenty. So, like I said, this is an Air Force base. This is not the civilian airport. Didn't realize it when I was selected in both jobs. It's kind of bummed because uh, it's literally like five miles away from K Gig, so it's kind of ridiculous. I adjusted the sound a little bit, turned down the cockpit noise. I'll probably turn it down a little bit more too. I'm not sure if that's like air conditioning sound or what, but I'll uh, adjust that and take that off. Or not take it off, but calm it down. But I got that flight sim commander. I kind of like it. It's we can use it to make a, a lot of flight plans. I think it'll be pretty good because then you can just load it into the FMC, select waypoints and stuff. Uh, kind of like it. If you want, there's a uh, two versions. There's a free version, but you can make all kinds of flight plans. You can't save them, but you can make them, and then write all your stuff down if you want. Uh, and it shuts off after 30 minutes. You can use it as many times as you want, but it shuts down after 30 minutes. I'll put a description uh, or a link in the video. And then there's the paid version, which you can save your flight plans, and it you can have it run in the background. You can have, like, following you moving map like with the GPS and everything which I don't I don't know why I mean I don't need that I don't know why you would I just need to be able to save the flight plans I got enough stuff running on my computer you know I could possibly run it on the laptop which is also recording but I don't know I don't why would you need it moving on the map I mean I don't I don't know why you would need that. But it is cool nonetheless. Like I say, I just like the flight plan. Flight plan uh, stuff. And being able to save it and load it up real quick. So when I've got time, I'll use that instead of just going straight to the airport, you know? It was weird. San Fran is such a huge airport, but didn't really have any stars. It had stars, but none coming into 28. They were all out, way out to the west, uh, one or two from the south, and a bunch to, way out to the east. It didn't make any sense. All right, we're going to do a rolling takeoff, but I'm going to stop right here first. I'll shut off this APU. And I need to remember when we get up to turn on the ice. De-ice, maybe I should say. It takes a lot of power to get this thing to start moving. Until it's a heavy load. Not quite full capacity. Well, yeah, I guess it is because of the fuel. All right, let's get this thing going.
full power. Got to fix the outside views again. V1. Rotate. V2. Oh, I forgot to set the trim. Dang on it. Finally found the trim and forgot about it. Alright, gears up. Start retracting our flaps. We've got the RML nav and VNAV. Just turn on autopilot. Alright, flaps are coming up. Check out the outside. See, there's K Gang. So it's literally like five miles. Big, beautiful plane. Love it. Alright, I can't remember if you can do anti-ice now or not. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. It's the northwest, it's cold, we're going up high. I mean, there's no moisture, or at least Opus isn't showing any moisture. I don't have Rex installed, so it would make beautiful clouds anyway, but... So I'm not sure if we need it or not. But it's on. Let this thing. All right. Everything's looking good so far. So I'll go ahead and speed it up, and I'll be back in just a bit.
All right, everybody, back to normal speed. Below 10,000 feet now. Coming up on uh, Decot. Less than five miles away. Might be a little above it. Hopefully it won't be too bad. It's really odd with this auto throttle. It said it kicks off and stuff like that. I can't, uh, I don't know. It's acting weird. Because it's letting me control it sometimes. I just, I don't know what's going on. So I don't know if we're using auto throttles or not. All right, going over to Seepin, Seppin, whatever you want to call it. We get down to 2,400 feet. Seems like we're always above it, you know? We're coming up our uh, cruise. Like uh, when we were cruising up there, I, uh, it wasn't controlling the speed. It said it kicked off at one point. I think when we were still uh, going up. So I don't know what's going on. I turned it on and off a few times to see if that would fix it. Didn't seem to. So I'm not sure uh, what's going on with that thing. All right. Breed, uh, spoilers, I should say, are armed right there. Got our auto brake set. The uh, anti ice is off. Really need to get this thing down. <laughs> This one is a pretty deep descent. There you can see better on the slope. The next one's 1,800 feet, four miles, so we should be good. All right. Turn in towards the airport. The 2500. Heard it. Turn on the localizer. All right, localizer is captured. Hit the approach, and we've got the glide slope. We can start getting our uh, flaps out. See, I'm not supposed to be controlling this. Just don't know what's going on with it. Less than five miles out. As you can see, we got the rollout and the flare. Gear is down. One thousand. Just gonna watch our speed since the auto brakes aren't working. All right, we're set to full flaps. We're not there yet. We're going too fast. 500. See, it says, the, minimums. It says the auto throttles is armed, but it's not. Minimums. See, I just clicked it off. It wasn't really on, so I don't I don't get it. 
300. Light slow. Light slow. 200. One hundred. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Flared. Boom. Huh. Didn't get a greaser. It's all off. Yeah, it's gonna be jagged with all the lights, especially. I'll go all the way down like last time and park at the corner, hopefully. There's no other planes there. It's a nice auto landing. Glad to see it worked. I could have gotten off all the runway over there. Oh well. I am after I'm going to the corner down here, far corner. I won't take this one either. If I take the next one. Jagged, but it's not too bad yet. I wonder what it, if we install Rex, what uh, if that'll have much of an effect on the frame rate? Because I know it has runway textures and everything. over. I wasn't expecting anything. Let's go. I'm going to turn down here. Is there a plane over there? I was going to say, we could just go over here. There's a plane. Uh, we'll just go over to the corner. Oh, well. There's one before the corner, but I think we'll just go to the edge. Closer to the runway, too, for next time. Don't tell me he's on the corner. Oh my gosh, I think he is. Ah, oh, he's on our spot. We'll go over here. our spot man or did he I can't tell he might be I think he might be further over I don't know no need to risk it We're right over here
right here. Parking brake on. We're actually pretty far away. Oh well. Turn all our lights off. Not sure why. Shut down. Let's go back to Airhorn. Or not. What is going on? There we go. More cargo to come. But that'll be on another episode. It'll be two episodes from now. We gotta, on the next one, we can fly up to Bozeman, Montana. Bozeman. I don't know how you pronounce it. 252. Okay. I figured 252 would be a greaser. Guess not. But that concludes this episode, everybody. So next... Going up to Bozeman. Where is it? I haven't selected it yet. Bozeman over here. Then I'll fly over here by myself. The next episode, back down to San Fran. So thanks for watching, everybody. I will catch you on the next flight.